Heads of poker matches are the trend right now, with many big guns clashing heads with each other on the green felt. On this occasion, we take a stroll down memory lane 10 years ago to 2011, where two of the best online poker players faced off against each other in a superstar showdown. These two online phenoms were none other than Victor Blom and Daniel Cates. In 2011, Victor Blum, aka Isildur1, issued an open challenge to poker pros via the Superstar Showdown. The challenge's considerably lower stakes and smaller session size made it a popular endeavor than Tom Dwan's Million Dollar Challenge. If you're unfamiliar with this event, it involved Isildur1 challenging a different player every so often to 2500 hands of 5100 No Limit Hold'em and the player's multi-table 4 tables. The one other rule in this challenge is that both players have a 150k bankroll and the game ends once one player loses his 150k bankroll or 2500 hands end. The match with Daniel Cates aka Jungleman12 was the third installment of the Superstar Showdown. Victor first lost $40,000 to Ike Haxton and then followed it up with a $44,000 win against Tony G in match 2. In his third match, he took on fellow poker pro Daniel Cates in 2500 hands of No Limit Hold'em. With two players this aggressive, fans predicted the showdown was destined to end in a big win or a big loss for Isildur. Blom's challenger was a man he had faced up teen times on the virtual felt. Known to regularly play up to 10 times these stakes, Cates was already a 750k winner in online cash games in 2011. Both Daniel Cates and Victor Blom were extremely aggressive right from the start of the match. There was no tiptoeing around for this duo. They already knew each other's games very well. Only 8 minutes in, Blom made a pre-flop 4-bet only to have Cates 5-bet shove for his entire $10,000 stack. Victor gave up the hand as Cates demonstrated his willingness to get his chips in the middle straight away. The first all-in took place less than 5 minutes later when Daniel Cates found himself in kicker trouble, his ace-queen outpit by Blom's ace-king. Cates attempted to regain some lost ground but ran into several coolers and within 30 minutes of play, Blom was up $20,000. Victor's early lead was short-lived however as Kate stormed back over the next 200 hands. Add to that a few more mid-sized pots and by the end of the first hour, Daniel Cates had completely reversed the situation and now leading Blom by an even $20,000 after 550 hands. Six minutes later, Blom had won nearly all of it back. If there is a patented Isildur 1 move in No Limit Hold'em, it was the river overbet. He will make it with big hands and he will make it with complete air and it confuses opponents to no end. Blom made this move twice during his 6 minute comeback and it worked in both instances. With 600 hands complete, the match was again dead even. At the 900 hand mark, Blom had clawed back to a $4,450 lead. 6 minutes later, he was down more than $22,000. They don't call him the king of swing for nothing. The first 1000 hands saw the lead flip quickly from player to player as neither one was able to get more than 3 binds ahead. Due to aggressive pre-flop play, full stacks went in before the flop several times but an even distribution of dominated pocket pairs kept the score close. Down $9,500 at the halfway point, Cates ran over Blom in the hour that followed, leading by more than $60,000 at his high water mark. Daniel Cates took a page from Isildur's playbook, shoving the river with a very polarized range and Blom was willing to pay him off in several spots with very light holdings. In one $22,000 pot, Daniel Cates opened for his typical $200 with ace-jack suited, then smooth call Blom's $800 3-bet. Victor did Cates bidding for him on the jack-8-7 flop and let out for $1,200. Cates called and then bet $2,800 after Blom checked the 6 of spades on the turn. Blom looked him up, then checked again when the king of clubs hit the river. Cates pulled the trigger and shoved for $28,250. Blom called off the bet with only 8-9 suited for third pair and Daniel Cates relieved him of another buy-in. Just as things were getting truly ugly for Blom, he picked up a $32,000 pot in what perhaps was the cooler of the match. With the board reading 364 ace 8 on the river, Blom moved all in for $11,050 and Cates called. Blom turned over King Jack suited for the nut flush while Cates showed Queen 5 for the second nuts. Blom continued to hack away, gathering momentum as he got maximum value on a full house against Kate's two pair in a $21,000 pot and three streets of value on an ace high flush to win $15,300. Victor had cut Kate's lead to around $15,000 when a monster pot unfolded. Blom opened for $300 on the button holding Queen Jack and Kate's 3-bet to $1,300 with King 10. Blom called and they saw a 10-8-4 flop. 
Kate slid out for 1500 with top pair and Blom called with his overcards and gut shot straight draw. The turn brought an ace, giving Blom 4 more outs with a double gutter. Kate slid again, making it 4200 to go and Blom called. The king of diamonds on the river was Blom's gin card he had made Broadway while Kate's improved to kings up. Kate's fired out 11,500 and Blom raised to 22,600 and Kate's called off his last 6,250 only to see the bad news. With 505 hands remaining, Blom was back in the tune of $10,450. Within 4 minutes, he increased the margin to $24,100. The final half hour was marked by a flurry of all-ins, the majority of them falling Blom's way. Kate's bluff one stack off with queen high, Blom bluffed one of his own with ace high. And in another hand that left observers scratching their heads, Kate's check raised the river with king high and Blom snap called with bottom pair to take down $28,000. $400. It was only fitting that a dramatic river card decided the last major pot of the match. Following Kate's $200 opening raise, Blom 3 bet to $800 and Kate's made the call. Blom let out for $1000 on the ace 10 8 flop and Kate's called. The turn brought the queen of clubs and Blom fired again, making it $2200 to go. Kate's raised to $4900 and Blom called. The river was the king of diamonds and Blom shoved setting Kate's all-in for his remaining $6,000. Kate's made the call and turned up pocket queens for a turn set, but Blom revealed Jack-10 suited having rivered the nut straight. These two rivals offered each other a simple GG before departing the tables. Victor Blom, at the end of the match, banged $51,196. Daniel Kate's initially refused to comment on the defeat, but later said, From the first time I played against Isildur 1, it seemed that his game has evolved greatly. He is much tougher now than he once was. He has evolved a lot. Click on the link below to see Isildur's next two superstar showdown matches, which was against Daniel Negrano. This video is powered by Bluff the Spot, the best place to learn how to win at poker from actual high stake coaches like MMA Sherdog. Check the link in the description. And if you like this video, leave a like, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.